awesome and I think rather sobering reality that South Africa lives in, but um, so awesome to see what Clover and our team are doing to counter that. It makes me so happy to welcome back this beautiful young thing who's got like a, a Bali, Balian, Balinese? Balinese. Balinese vibe of us. <laughs> um, welcome back, Amy. Uh, Thank it looks you. like you had the best time ever, living your best life, as we say on, on Instagram. <laughs> uh, but today we're talking about um, low sodium. sodium. I found yes. out that I'm not a super taster, okay? <laughs> Um, which Nothing has been, to be ashamed of. I, I, don't, I hope so. I don't know. But uh, uh, we, we have been talking about the link between obviously needing more taste in your food and often that then brings in more salt. But salt we have is far the, too much it's salt. It's kind of the thing that we go to as a quick thought, but there are so many other beautiful ways that you can flavor your food with herbs, with garlic, with some lovely spices, paprika, for example, if you want that smokiness and oh, kind of a yeah. little bit of heat. You actually don't need to add salt to a lot of your foods. A lot of foods naturally have a little bit of sodium in them. But what we're going to create here is a beautiful one dish sodium, like really low sodium meal. So we're not adding any salt at I'm all. I'm seeing our clover crush, orangey. That's are we making right. orange chicken? Well, are we, we making are. We add it, we're using the citrus from the orange juice to also add that beautiful brightness and flavor Yay. that you can get out of the veggies and the chicken. Are very Balinese. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, what I'm just going to do is just pile the chicken into a big baking dish. You want to kind of preset your oven to about 200 degrees. So quite hot. Exactly, okay. quite hot. So you can do 180, but I like getting the, the nice um, crispiness on the skin of the chicken, really. You want, you want it to caramelize, exactly. you want to taste that. There's nothing greater in this world than chicken skin, you know, that is crispy. I mean, it's, it's quite a little decadent treat, but yeah. I love it. No, but full on, it's a natural fat. Exactly. You know, what I always tell myself. And then it's we're going to fat. pile in some beautiful vegetables. So right over here, I've just got one gorgeous aubergine or oh. eggplant or brinjal. Or whatever you like yeah, to, yeah, to call sure. him. And we're just going to roughly chop everything in. So the idea One here is that we've got um, a mix of different vegetables and we've got some starch. So we've got some beautiful sweet potato over there. We've got some lovely red pepper. And we're going to put in our garlic cloves whole. So we're not oh, actually wow, going to chop okay. them up. And the reason is that the garlic then infuses its flavor into the dish. But then you can remove the cloves afterwards or you can squeeze out the beautiful roasted nice sweet soft, garlic. Yeah. Exactly. And I love that. So I noticed here what we've got foods that could... Um, take quite a long time to cook. The chicken as a whole would take a long time. Uh, you know, the potato as a whole would take a long time. Yes. Um, but by chopping up, by creating slightly smaller pieces, obviously it'll cook a lot exactly. more quickly. Exactly. I mean, you're still going to put this in the oven for about, um, let's say, about 45 minutes to an hour, um, depending, obviously, on the size of your chicken pieces, the size of your veggies. Um, I like, obviously, getting things crispy. So what's great about this as a weeknight meal is you can kind of put it all together, put it in the oven, and then carry on and doing this is, everything. this is two or three days' worth of, of deliciousness. Exactly. Uh, but the flavor infusion here, I think, is the most important thing. So the longer, the better. Exactly. So we're going to take some of of our lovely um, orange juice over here, Clover Crush, and we're just going to pour about half a cup of this all over the beautiful veggies and chicken. You kind of want to get everything like nicely covered and juicy, yeah, we'll and everything will moist. release yeah. its natural juices anyway, and then you'll have a beautiful sauce. Um, then we're going to take some of our lovely paprika, which is that beautiful smoky kind of, not too hot, so you can always add some fresh chili also to get that flavor, but the paprika I just find is that warm, gorgeous kind of... Well, that's of, okay, you're not compromising on the flavor. No, yeah. not at all. And then we're just going to put these garlic cloves kind of all around the chicken so that they infuse. And then we've got Finally. some beautiful thyme, which we just kind of break up just to get those. Little... And there is nothing. Thyme or sage with chicken for oh, me is, is such the ultimate. A winner. Yeah. You can use rosemary as well. And, and you can actually make this dish more Mediterranean by adding a ton of tomatoes, if you like. Mm. So it gets nice and juicy Mediterranean, and then you use basil instead. So there's so many ways you can take this as a kind of well, basic dish board, yeah. and just, um, you know, mix it up. You haven't lost so. your touch, girl. You haven't <laughs> lost your touch. The keyword here is chicken to double three seven to eight. That's chicken to double three seven to eight. And we will send you this ingredients um, list for about 45 minutes to an hour. Oven go. set at 200 degrees. And Boom. as you can see over here, we've got a gorgeous finished dish with our lovely crispy chicken skin, oh, our veggies properly wow. cooked through, and there's our fancy little garlic over there, which you can just yes. kind of ready for the on. plucking, ready for the <laughs> plucking. Yes. And the key word again is chicken. Thank you, Ams, you're a genius. Crush, your daily dose of goodness. Now also available in long life. Made with love by Clover.